Yo everybody, I'm Shrimp Taco and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to download mods, but not specifically just one mod that you might want, but a mod pack. A lot of you guys on my other video on how to install mods were asking like, well, this is too hard, I don't want to download all these things. And, uh, you know, I just, want, I, I just want to play a pack. And packs are super simple because you just download the launcher and you already have the mods that, that are on there. You can even change the mods that are on that pack as well. So that makes it super easy, super simple. Let's get to it. Let me show you how to do this. And if you enjoy this, please don't forget to punch that like button to show your support. It really helps me to get better noticed for my Minecraft. And, uh, yeah, let's freaking do this. <laughs> So first things first, we are going to close out of Minecraft because this is the original version of Minecraft. And I haven't downloaded any mod packs as you can see on my thing, on my desktop here. Okay, so now that we've closed Minecraft, you wanna go to your internet thing and there are many mod packs you can download. There's like Feed the Beast, AT Launcher as you can see here, a whole bunch of other things. You wanna go to your downloads, but we're go we'll just go to the regular AT Launcher website. I will leave this website down in the description below. I promise nothing is, uh, viruses or anything like that. So from here, you want to go to downloads and you can download your AT launcher. And this gives you like a step-by-step -step process to do this, but you're watching this one. So why not just watch mine? <laughs> so you're going to go to windows. You're going to download the AT launcher right here and then wait for that to download, which took not that long. And okay, this is just my McAfee web browser thing. It tells me um, that there may be a risk. I will accept the risk, right? And you will uh, download that. Okay, perfect. It's scanning. And now you can show all your downloads and you can now click on your download as soon as, as soon as it's done. Can you finish? Okay, now that it's done, you're gonna see this little symbol here. We can actually close this. We're gonna bring this down here. We're gonna move this out to the desktop because that is how I like to keep my stuff nice and neat on the desktop. And then now you have this AT launcher. This launcher has all the mods you could ever think of. Maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. If you want to play with mods super easy, just download the launcher and you can jump right in. So, so now that your AT launcher is on the desktop, I go ahead and make a new folder for this. We're going to go to new folder. We're going to call this AT launcher. Why? Because when you open the AT launcher, it opens up a whole bunch of other files. So like here, there's only one. Now you can click on it. It'll start opening the launcher and everything else that it does here. This will be like your, your configs, your downloads, anything that you, your save files, everything that's on here will be for this, for this launcher. Okay. So you're going to let it go through the setup process. We can close that now and we're going to go English saved. Yes. Perfect. And now it brings you here. Okay. So next you have to just add your account and to do your, that you add your account here. You're going to put in your username or email address. I'm going to do all that. I'm not going to show that on camera because I don't want you guys to know my email address and stuff like that. So let me do that really quick. Now that you've added your account, you should see your little, um, your M Minecraft character here, your little face there. And now you can go and search the packs that we have. So here on the AT launcher, you have Sky Factory 2. You have Renaissance Rise. You have all these awesome mod packs that you can play. Pixelmon. So see, you don't actually have to download the mods themselves. These packs have everything you need to start playing right now. So you just download the mods. And then here, so let's say we want to do Sky Factory. We don't want to play some Sky Factory. We're going to go to New Instance. Install. So on these are the required mods that you need for this pack. Over here are optional mods. So if you want to add like Lucky Blocks and let's say Vein Miner, okay, you're going to go install and it'll install those that you clicked plus everything else and you just wait for this thing to finish downloading. I will wait here for you guys because a lot of you guys were like, you're cutting and you're not showing us the whole thing. So I'm going to show you guys right here the whole thing, the whole setup. This way you can play with mods super easy super quick you don't have to download all these different mods to play with these different things these are why these mod packs are so popular because all you have to do is download the pack and then get going and from here the, the at launcher you just go here you remember you hit new instance and then it'll start downloading all those mod packs to download onto the at launcher so we're going to go ahead and wait for this. I don't think I want to have you guys wait here that long because it looks like it is taking a little while. Mod packs do take a little while. Depending on your inter internet connection and how fast your computer is, this may take a few moments. So I'll be back when this thing gets to about way over here. Halfway there, and it's been like one minute. So for me, it is not taking so long. For you, it may. Just be patient with it, guys. You're downloading a whole pack of mods, so just be super patient. Okay, you should be almost done. We've reached the end, extracting configs. 
Sky Factory has been installed. Find it in your instances. Awesome. Okay, now that Sky Factory has been installed, now you don't go in here. This is only if you're doing this for the very first time for Sky Factory, you want to hit new instance. If you want to play a different pack, you hit new instance only for the first time. From then on, you go to instances over here, and now whatever ones you've downloaded are in your instances folder. So now here, now we can go play and enter the password for the shrimp taco, which we will right now. Okay, and it should launch the Minecraft Sky Factory, and I'll go through this whole process with you. It may take a little while because it is the first time I'm doing this as well, so hopefully it doesn't take too long, but it might. So I might cut it here just to save some time on the video so you're not watching me doing this whole thing, but as you can see, it's launching regular Minecraft, and we just have to wait for this to load now, and you can play with mods. So we're almost done. We're five out of seven here, almost done loading. This has been about a minute later. So, for, so d again, depending on how fast your computer is, it may take either a longer time or a shorter time. For me, this has been about a minute and about 20 seconds now. So, you know, not too, not too bad for me anyway. But yeah, we'll just let this go now. It should be done here in a few moments. We're going to have this 14 out of 15, all this other loading stuff that we don't really care about. We just want to play the game. Boom, so now you have you officially have your Minecraft Sky Factory game here. You can put it to full screen, single player, and create a new world. Obviously, let's just we're gonna check it out just to make sure it works. Sky Factory stiff tutorials. <laughs> right? A game mode survival, create world. Let's jump in and just make sure that everything worked correctly, which it should have because it is a pack. You don't have to worry about downloading all these different mods to make a pack with yourself that works so you just go through and you should be on sky factory right now in three two one zero zero and a half zero and three quarters zero boom we are in sky factory ladies and gentlemen we are on a tree as always there is a little bit of lag which is to be expected but yeah we have our achievement book Awesome stuff. Sweet. We have now officially successfully downloaded our very first mod pack, which you can do super easy as well. Just follow the links in the description. Actually, there's literally only one link. AT Launcher. Go to it, download it, and then you can find the mod pack you want to download. And super simple, super easy mods. This is probably the easiest way. If you want to start playing with mods, this is the easiest way to play with mods. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please don't forget to punch that like button to show your support. It really helps me to help you to help me to help you to help me make awesome Minecraft tutorials for you guys. And if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to leave them down in the comment section below. I will help you out as much as I can. And if you have any other tutorial ideas, let me know if you want, if you want me to show you guys how to do something, anything, I can do it all. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I will catch you on the bright side. Woo! <laughs>